The Mike Hosking Breakfast, six to nine weekdays on News Talks FB. Yeah, there, if you're following the media's attempt to get the new government across the line on some kind of deal with the big tech giants to help, quote unquote, save journalism, the bad news has arrived in Australia. Now, the bad news has already played out, by the way, in Canada, but the upshot in all three countries, Canada, Australia and New Zealand, if you think some set of rules or laws is going to make Meta and their mates come to the table, you are dreaming. In Australia, they cut a deal and the tech players handed out millions of dollars in the last couple of years to a bunch of local broadcasters for access to their content. Now, to be clear, no one seems to disagree with the idea that it is unfair to just grab somebody's work and whack it on your news feed. And as a result of a lot of people reading that news, you then go off and sell a lot of advertising. Equally, uh, there is no doubt, I don't think that the tech players are bleeding local economies of advertising revenue that supports local work. But but, and this is where theory clashes badly with reality, they don't care. What they've worked out, and it's now starting to play out, is they're bigger than any given country. So the deal signed, for example, in Australia, as of the weekend, they're off. And the Australian government, they're ropeable, they're furious, they're apoplectic. As well, they might be, but that doesn't solve their particular problem. Now, in Canada, the tech players threatened and for a while did pull their services. Facebook feed wasn't there in Canada. In Australia, they threatened to pull the same service as well. Small clue, they will do the same here. Bigger clue, we're too small to matter. The only way around it, as far as I can work out, is everybody in the whole world agrees to a global deal, to basically outsize tech. But that isn't happening. The world can't agree on anything far less a Facebook feed. So Australia's ropeable. The Canadian government, they're handing out subsidies left, right and centre for journalists. And New Zealand is still trying to twist a reluctant government's arm that a Labour Party idea can work. Another clue? It can't and it won't. The reality is big tech are scurrilous. They are dirty players who have been fined and dragged before any number of inquiries for a variety of activity all over the world. Key question, has it made any difference? Answer, you don't need to answer that. The Mike Hosking Breakfast, 6 to 9 weekdays on Newstalk ZB.